Hey guys, if you saw my previous video, or if you didn't, I uh, just got in a haul from my local hobby shop. Got some new kits to build. They're put in a pile to get built eventually. The thing is, with them, anytime you order anything over $50, shipping is free, and it saves me on the gas not to have to drive down there and get it, so... I kind of stock up and wait until I have a bunch to get. So the other video shows what I got. Anyway, the one item that I got, looking at right here, is the Airfix 172nd scale Supermarine Spitfire Mark 1A that uh, I want to build as a box stock super detail. By that I mean that I didn't want to uh, take it as far as I can take it without buying any other parts for it. Any parts that I already have in my stash like Easy Line for the antenna or my paints or any scrap pieces, you know, paper clip, uh, guitar string, anything like that that I have laying around I'll use but I'm not going to actually go out and buy anything else for the kit. Well, I may need to buy some more glue or something like that. You know, regular supplies. But nothing especially for the kit. And I know you've probably seen it before, but we're going to do a quick box review of the kit. Uh, this is take two of box review of the kit. I got a phone call over there right in the middle of the first take, and so the video cut off. Um, anyway... You see what I paid for it? Six dollars. Actually, I paid less. I paid six dollars and ninety-five cents, not six dollars and ninety-nine cents. Um, got real nice box art of it on it. On the back, we've got color callouts. Excuse me, a full color for your decal placements and painting. And it calls for up here. Gotta focus a little bit here. Umbral number 24 yellow, 29 dark earth, 33 black, beige green number 90, and dark green number 163 in the Humbrol colors. Of course, I don't have any Humbrol paints, so we'll have to match best we can on that. So let's let's pull this out and look at what we got. Starters, we have a nice fine plastic bag with safety first, of course. We have some Air Club Airfix literature. To, uh, I'm sure they want you to buy something or get a magazine or something. I have no idea what. Exclusive Club Edition kits available. Something, something, something. something. We'll start here with the decals. They look really nice, really clean. Fairly thin, no extra carrier film on them. They're as pretty much as tight as I can get. They look really good. Fairly basic instruction seat. You've got a little background information on, on the Spitfire Mark 1A. Um, your landmarks for the uh, assembly instructions. Since it's multilingual, there's no, not much written in there. Uh, we have our assembly instructions that are written. Here, basically, the study drawings type stuff, you know. Uh, looks like we start out building, painting the pilot, building the cockpit, which is fairly rudimentary. And prop and hub and it shows the locate the 
assembly arrangement of the cockpit. And we have the cockpit going into the fuselage halves along with the prop. I'll show a detail of that. We're going to, then we assemble wings, exhaust, horizontal stabilizers, rudder, goes on the vertical stab, lower wing section, exhaust, um, color call out for the interior part of the wing I'm assuming or the top or the bottom of the wing I'm not sure what that is exactly uh, you know, gear up or down I'm probably going to go gear down on this one we got a pitot tube Radiator, tail wheel, uh, some scoops, the wheel parts, uh, assembly, a little more assembly of the scoops, the antenna, and it shows the uh, the sweep and the uh, angle for the landing gear to have it set up properly. And that's your instructions. Pretty basic and straightforward. We've got our clear parts here. I'm going to leave them in the bag so they don't get scratched up till I get to it. Try and focus on them a little better. There we go. Look pretty clear. It's all one piece canopy. I don't see any major flaws or defects in it. And that little lamp light for the under the underside also is on there. And we've got a fuselage halves, all recessed panel lines and details on it. You notice there is zero, I repeat zero flash. Our antenna mount there. Tires have flat spots on them already. Nice touch. Prop spinner, one of the scoops. Um, there's our seat. Prop. Landing gear. The struts are actually mounted to, already pre-mounted to the gear covers. Cockpit parts. <coughs> Here's our pilot chap, pilot officer. Wing sections, exhaust, that's the pedal tube, no wing, rudder, I'm assuming that's machine guns here, the lower section of the wing, the wheels up, gear, nice touch there, you can, if you're building with a the gear up, it's already put together in one piece. All you do is paint it and stick them in. Oxygen bottle, tail wheel. Remember, folks, this is 170 second scale, not very big at all. Back here is the pilot sitting on. A nickel. And here's the bottom side of the wing. Again, all all recessed panel lines. Remember, folks, this too. This is a a seven dollar kit. It's not thirty, forty, fifty dollars. Seven dollars. 
So we're going to get started on this in the next couple of days as soon as I get the protector done. Because I told myself I'm not going to start any more kits until the protector is done. Everything else has, has been put on the side of the bench and won't be worked on until the protector is finished. So it shouldn't be too much longer. I've got the wings that are all glued up and sealed with the lighting installed and put the lights, install the lights in the fuselage and put the, the wings on the fuselage and it's pretty much done. I just had to sit down and actually do it. So, so this is kind of a plan to do a build on. This is the kit that the kids are going to be building in, in school for Aaron Newland's school project group. And uh, so, you know, I just thought I would, I would grab one and build it and see what I could do with it and make it a super box stock. So that's where we're at. And hope I didn't bore you too bad. You've probably seen this kit a thousand times, but we'll see you guys when we start building it. Bye.